This is paralyzing the Department of Defense. You know, the idea that one man in the Senate can hold this up for months. I understand maybe promotions, but nominations is paralyzing the Department of Defense. I think that is a, a national security problem and a national security issue. That was the head of the House Foreign Affairs Committee, Republican Congressman Michael McCall, blasting Alabama Republican Senator Tommy Tuberville for his unprecedented military blockade in the Senate. For over six months, the Republican has single-handedly blocked over 300 military promotions due to what he calls, quote, woke Pentagon policies. Now, I got to say, I am quite sure if a Democratic senator was doing this, they would be absolutely dogpiled by their Democratic colleagues. But this, from a call, appears to be the first sort of big public criticism from a prominent Republican Congress member. We'll see if any others join to put pressure on the Alabama senator and his efforts to force pregnancy, among other things, on military members while also gutting the armed forces personnel. Senator Mark Kelly is a Democrat of Arizona. He is a 25-year U.S. Navy veteran who served as a combat pilot and now sits on the Armed Services Committee, and he joins me now. Um, what, what are the conversations happening in the U.S. Senate and on that Armed Services Committee uh, about this blockade and what it, what it means? Well, I mean, among my Democrat and Republican colleagues, I mean, it's how do we, how do we get through this? Uh, you know, let me first point out, Chris, that this is unprecedented. You know, that Senator Tuberville has done something that has not been done in U.S. history. I mean, hold up nominations and promotions of admirals and generals for, it's now been over six months. And this has a serious negative effect on our national security. I mean, I was talking to one of my Republican colleagues today about just the consequences of this. And, and, and they get it. And it really comes down to, at some point here, Senator Tuberville is going to have to, you know, release these holds because we cannot continue month after month. This is doing serious damage. And it's not just short term. It's, this isn't like a light switch, like you turn it back on and everything's fine. This is going to do damage to, I mean, to our, our military, possibly for years to come. Michael McCall criticized Senator Tuberville over the weekend. Uh, that sound we just played. Senator Amy Klobuchar was on this show last week, basically saying we need Republicans to come out against this. And I, I think if the shoe were on the other foot, if there was a Democrat doing this, I think you'd probably start to see that criticism pretty quickly. Um, is that the is that how you map out the end of this, which is basically enough co-partisans pressure him enough that he relents? Well, yeah, that's what we've been waiting for and hoping for. And I've had multiple conversations with Republicans about, you know, putting pressure on him. Uh, we've been putting pressure on him. This is, you know, I mean, this is over a, a, a rather straightforward policy. And, and, and Chris, do you know, like, who is celebrating this right now? You know, the, the Chinese government, the Chinese military, there's probably, in the Chinese embassy here, there's probably champagne corks popping over this. This is very good for them. This is very good for Vladimir Putin. This is very bad for the U.S. military. We've got to find a way forward. I just want to be clear for folks that, that don't know this. Basically, one of the, his ask, I think, is to reverse a Pentagon policy that reimburses service members for travel to secure uh, reproductive care. Um, right. And, and uh, that is a long-standing policy for health care. So it's not even a new policy. It just includes reproductive care. Now, your, uh, your colleague in Arizona, Kirsten Sinema, said, uh, we, what we need are for folks to step off a little bit from their positions and find that middle ground to solve the challenge that we're facing. It appears to be middle ground between uh, Senator Tuberville and the, the, the Pentagon and the, and the Biden administration. Do you think that's the way out of this? Yeah, Chris, I, as you mentioned, I spent 25 years in the United States Navy. Uh, it, is, it is a challenge personally. And, you know, I give so much credit for, you know, especially the young members in the military, but folks that serve 30 something years, 35 years that reach these, you know, the highest ranks in our military, they have sacrificed. Um, their families have sacrificed. It's a challenge. And you don't get to decide where you're going to live. I mean, if somebody's stationed in Alabama or Mississippi and they can't get the health care that folks can get in another state, they can't choose not to go. I mean, we can't have a system where, you know, women that serve in our military are denied health care. And yet that seems to be the position of Senator Tuberville, who is a quarter of one man wrecking crew on this issue. 
Uh, is there is there any escalation procedurally that you see happening here? I mean, obviously, the unanimous consent is sacrosanct in the body right. in which you serve. Um, it gives each of you individual senators power, so you have a kind of game theoretical reason to all like it. <laughs> but is there anything you can see happening? Well, Chris, at this point, I don't like it. I mean, it's it's been a mistake. I mean, that one senator has the ability to do this much damage to our military. I mean, think about that for a second. I mean, I know a, uh, you know, I know a, a general in the Air Force um, who his, his wife has just gotten over cancer. He was planning on retiring, and now he can't even spend time with her. She's moved. He is still in his job. I had the, uh, the, the, the woman who was going to lead the United States Navy, if she's ever confirmed, she was in my office today. She's now going to have two jobs. She's going to be the deputy CNO as well. And as the leader of the United States Navy that I served in for, served in for 25 years, she's not going to be able to make any serious decisions. Same thing for the Commandant of the Marine Corps. I mean, we've got plans to transform our Marine Corps for a fight in the Western Pacific that, you know, if we were to ever get in one. The, the new commandant, because he's unconfirmed, can't make these major decisions. Imagine if you're the acting CEO of a company. I think people would get this. You don't want an acting CEO of a company to be making these strategic, long-lasting decisions. That's what's at stake here. And by the time we get to the end of the year, we're going to be looking at something like I, I think the number is close to 90 percent of admirals and generals are going to be unconfirmed. We're going to have a military that's not going to be able to function. We've had the best military and fighting force in the world. This is doing serious damage, and it's on Tuberville to lift this. Arizona Senator Mark Kelly, thank you for making time tonight, sir. Appreciate it.